Okay, what is up everybody? Today we're back again with another video and we have a Ibex hunt today. I know last time I said this we actually ended up going on a red hunt, but that is before I actually got myself a little bit of an Ibex setup. So we have three clips already here right at the beginning of three amazing Ibex I got over the last three days. So one of these was on Sunday, which we got right on up here. You'll see it in a second. There is going to be my face cam for that one clip, but today I just didn't have the face cam on the other clips, so I just wanted to keep it no face cam for today it is going to return in the future but just not for today but we got him over here and we got another one yesterday while i was doing this whole setup i kind of ran up through here placed the tent up there and then i just wandered through here just to see if i could spot some ibex and i spotted him he was very awesome and was kind of around this area over here if i remember correctly and then one again at the end which was kind of over here you'll see those clips and i'll talk a little bit more in depth about it there but yeah the second one, though, I gotta say, I don't have a commentary with that, so I'm just gonna talk over it like this. Basically, I'll just make a voiceover over it. But for today, um, we are gonna be just going back up here and let me quickly get the draw feature here. We're just gonna be going through here, up in there, and then I wanna see how far I can go taking it this way. Because, I mean, technically, we already have three awesome Ibex, but we might as well just look what else we can find today. And maybe we can bag ourselves another maybe 250 or maybe we can even break the 260 mark. We will just have to go ahead and see. But let's jump in those clips and then let's get hunting. Some Ibex up there. Holy. Okay, this already made it worth it. Look at that thing. I'm not going to shoot it with that. Holy. Look at that thing up there. I don't know, can I get all the way up there though? I want to very quickly check that, because if I can't get up there, we have to get him or wait for him to come in close. Obviously, I can't look this far up, so let's sneak up real quick. And let's go to go on the map here. Okay, so we can still get there, awesome. Let's shoot him. That thing looks awesome. That thing actually looks really freaking awesome. I gotta lay down somewhere though where I can actually see it. Oh, we dropped him. Oh my. Okay, he's dropping down. So let's quickly switch over to the binos here. Let's just mark where he's gonna go. Look at him slide. He's actually good looking as well. Holy. Okay, he's gonna be somewhere down there. Oh wow. That thing looked big. That thing looked real big. Here he is, okay. Let's have a look. I actually like how this looks. I mean, he is going back pretty far. He's 100.4 kg, 242, holy. That's a good Ibex for me. That is very good for me. That is def that's 100% my personal best. Oh no, why is it putting that? No, 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 no. Please don't put that screen in there. I think that's gonna be okay. I think that will be just fine. And then let's get in just a little bit closer here. Maybe actually I'm gonna move myself a little bit more to the side. And there we go. I'll take that picture. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, well, okay, this right here is the clip where I actually did not have any kind of uh, audio. I, I don't know what happened with it. You can still hear the game audio. You just don't hear my actual microphone audio. But yeah, you guys can see there's another awesome looking Ibex here. This was actually at the other spot uh, that I showed at the beginning. And I'll show it in the next clip again. I think I'm pretty sure I go to the map at the end and kind of explain what was going on here. But I saw him. I was... Yeah, I was a little bit nervous. I was shaking there, but that's kind of also from the scope just generally. And I just couldn't get a good shot. And for some reason, I decided I should try and shoot it. But the second I shot that, I just knew I was way too far back. So I was like, hey, come on, let me try and get a follow-up shot. So I follow them and there's a small female following up. And I take the shot and I somehow manage to drop the female. You'll see in a second there, I actually shot her in the neck. But obviously she wasn't anything special. She was just a small female that was coincidentally beside him. So I tried taking another shot here to try and bring him down quicker. But I supposedly completely missed. 
So I tried bringing out the spotter scope to try and mark where I saw him last. Uh, didn't work. Uh, I had no idea where he went. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to use my tracking and hope that he doesn't run up some kind of hill and disappears from me. So I go on the track, obviously I picked up the female here. She was nothing big, but we did get a next shot which dropped her, so 60.029, so yeah, a tiny, tiny female. And I got luckier, as you can see, he actually slid down the mountain while he was dying, because otherwise I would not have been able to get him. I was lucky I saw him, but this was another 242. 0.245 so about 0.6 smaller than other one but he just looked awesome as well like you can just see this guy is an absolute monster through here and i just saw a huge 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 ibex again run down here i know we've already had two 242 scoring ones but there's another one that ran right over there just now because i was just going through here to set up because I had just set up my tent up there and then obviously we shot the other one and just over up there and now I've come here to place this down because I actually wanted to start a fresh recording after this but of course temptation hit me and I just wanted to go through here and see oh there it is look at him holy if that does not look cool I don't know what does let's lay down let's zoom out, zoom out and I feel like that should have been a good hit. Not too sure what else I could have hit, but okay, there he is. He is down, so he didn't run far. Wow, we've already got three awesome Ibex on this one hunt. That is insane. Okay, let's mark him there, and then let's make our way over there, and let's see what he's going to score, because, man, that thing looks awesome. I really love these Ibex, like I've already said. I think they look absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy that I actually invested some of my EMs as well as some GMs to get this set up here and to work and to be able to hunt them because I really love the horns and the whole experience of hunting them. Well, he died a little bit unfortunate, but let's go ahead and pick him up. So a little bit heavier than the other one that we just had before. And... Ooh! 254. That's my biggest one until now. That is insane. That is crazy, okay. Let me try and get a good pose with him here. And hopefully I can get something to work. Um, but again, this is going to take me a little while because I'm always very bad at kind of making these trophy shots. But let me work with it and let me see what I can manage here. Okay, well, I'm kind of happy with this now. I think that's going to be good. I mean, you can just see the massive curl on that. Like, this thing is a monster, an absolute monster. Uh, I'm broke though. Uh, do I want to spend the... Yeah, I mean, technically this is my biggest one, but I'm going to wait until I can see what else we're going to get. And then I might end up um, taxonomizing him after that. But I still want to see what else we can maybe manage to get here. But I think for now, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to make myself food and then we're going to go back and actually start fresh because, well... I've pretty much scared everything by trying to run through here and just set everything up for this hunt. So hopefully I can manage to do this now and it's just gonna work fine. And we're gonna probably do this upper route here again. And then maybe on a future stream, we're gonna go back over to where we shot that other one the next time. But we've already got three amazing Ibex down. Like this is one amazing hunt for sure. But we are up here now and I feel like we could take a shot at him. It's basically right where we found that one on stream as well. Uh, I didn't feel comfortable with that shot. Let's look. There we go. Perfect. Dropped him. Awesome. Let me very quickly just make sure to spot where he goes down. Uh, where did he go down? <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're going to have to go on a little bit of a search party then. But let's get moving up there, let's have a look if we can find him. And I don't think it should be too hard, because we're just going to walk by the side of the cliff there, but I think we'll find something. And look, here he is already, basically, because I marked where we shot him, which was all the way up there, so basically kind of the point of where we saw him. But we got ourselves a left lung and shoulder blade hit here, and a 177, so definitely, definitely our smallest one of the video, but hey, it's still a male. It's still an Ibex, and you can't always get 240 plus scoring ones, right? 
Uh, I also don't expect that we're going to find another 250 plus scoring one. But obviously, since we're kind of on a, a fresh spawn here again, or on a new map, just because, well, like I said, I was running around in the last two clips around the map and just really trying to set it up for this. I didn't really expect to find anything, but I mean, if I see something that big, I might as well shoot it. But now, why don't we go take this a little bit slower and see if we can maybe spot one or two other nice males here that are going to be maybe just 200 plus scoring ones. I think that would be very, very nice. I just got a call from an Ibex somewhere roughly in front of us here. I'm not too sure where he or she is though. Hmm. Might be behind these rocks there. Oh, there's one. I don't know if that's going to correspond, but I think that's, yeah, that's a male. Again, not a very big one, but I'll keep him spotted there for a second. And that is actually our male as well, okay. So that is the one that was just calling us. So why don't we go ahead and try and shoot him again? He's not very big, but I feel like, oh, he's, he's fleeing. He is fleeing. I feel like we also kind of used up all of our luck and down he goes. Perfect, very nice. And here we go, here is our Ibex. Let's have a look, 87.2 kg. We shot him at 98.2 meters and he's gonna score 115. So yeah, not a big male. Our smallest harvest yet. I feel like we are slowly going down the slope in terms of how good our Ibex are going, but maybe, Maybe this just means that we have a big one hiding back here. Who knows? I mean, we're still not all the way done. We still have a little bit to go. And yeah, hopefully we can find at least one more decent male that's going to score maybe 200 or so. And I think since we are at the end of this, I think that right over there is going to be our last Ibex. Just as we shoot him right over there. Because yeah. I don't think that we're going to find anything else here. Plus, uh, I would have just spooked everything. So, sadly, sadly, we are not going to get another huge Ibex. I mean, he might have been hiding on the other side of the map in the other... Uh, what do you call it? In the other mountain ranges right back there. But uh, he's not going to be over on this side, which can happen. Maybe our spawns just weren't as good today for the Ibex on this side. But I mean, we still got those other really good ones from the beginning. So I really should not be complaining here. Um, I think we're going to go in the lodge in just a quick second and look at two of them. Because, well, I thought that the first 242 was going to be my new personal best for a very long time. And then we shot the, I think, 252, 254 scoring one yesterday. So... That is now my personal best. I haven't put that one in the lodge yet. So I'm going to put him in there. Just look at them both kind of side by side. And then we shall just see how they look like and end it there. And here he is. Our final Ibex shot him right in the shoulder. Right in the spine as well. 171. So a little bit bigger than the one that we had before there. But still nowhere near as big as our other Ibex. Well, here we are now in the lodge. Here's our 242. So the first big Ibex that we got of the video. This is the one from the stream. And I already showed him off in the lodge at the end of, I think, that stream or uh, Sunday stream. Not 100% sure at this point, but this is what he looks like. There you guys can see one more time. This is the 242.712. And then over here on this plaque is where we have our... 254 scoring one which i could get on there there we go Wait. there we go 254.515 very very awesome ibex absolutely love how this guy looks he is just really big and i love his curl i even think that part of his horns are going inside the wall there so i think we might do this so that you can actually see the curl as well from the front we might put the other one there and put our white shoulder over there but honestly, I am not 100% sure. But as you can see in the dates as well, this was shot on the 25th and that was shot on the 27th. 
So <laughs> this video is a three day period of us shooting this. But I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you want to see more hunts like this and us filling this trophy lodge and improving some of our animals that we have in here, then definitely make sure to go ahead and press the like button. And let me know down below in the comments that you guys want to see more classic as well. Because I've been enjoying this game a hell of a lot recently. Also, if you're new around here or you just haven't done so yet, please definitely make sure to subscribe. And, and of course, hit that bell icon so you're always notified when I upload new videos or I live stream. But with that being said, have a good day. Bye bye and peace.